How's it going guys? This is Luke from Coffee House and today uh, I'm a little scared for if I'm being honest. We are, um, we are trying uh, in a segment that I like to call not coffee, coffee fig. It is a roasted fig coffee substitute, no caffeine, um, and I have no idea how to feel about it. What we're going to do today is we're going to jump in here. We're going to brew some of this. I'm going to make some comparisons and I'm going to try it for science and I'm very scared. I've not been looking forward to this day, but everybody else in the office has been. So here we go. So uh, just judging off of this, uh, we're going to brew it like a kind of like an immersion brew. Uh, it says five to seven minutes steep time, kind of like a tea, uh, but we are still going to strain it. So I have a little metal filter here to strain it all out. Um, there is, like I said, there's no caffeine uh, and it is 100% roasted fig. Uh, so I'm kind of scared. It says highly concentrated, use 50% of what you would for coffee. So that being said, I'm going to weigh out about 12 and a half grams here. Um, and just crack this open really quick, but, uh, oh, okay. So. Um, I mean, it smells like figs, you know, like burnt figs. Um, mm, that is, that you know, you look at it and you think like it's going to smell like coffee and it just really does not. Uh, there's a very, the grind pattern in here is very uh, not uniform. It's, yeah, very, very much roasted fig. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pour some of this out and weigh it out. So. Yeah, it's very finely ground, but there's also some large pieces in there. Also some really fine powder that's been collecting uh, inside of this. 12.5 there. So, uh, yeah. Okay, um, so I'm gonna do 12 and a half there. Oh yeah. You can, so in here you can still see the seeds, uh, which contributes to kind of like the, the lighter parts in there, similar to like how you'd see chaff and coffee. Um, but yeah, we're gonna jump into this here. All right, so what I did is I weighed out 375 grams of water um, for what would be 25 grams of coffee, but according to the directions on the coffee fig, uh, it says to use 50% of the amount um, as it is extremely concentrated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in uh, give it a nice little stir and I'll still have to strain it out like I said um, as it's kind of like an immersion brew but uh, I'm you know I'm very scared to try this if I'm being honest um, so right off the bat you know obviously we have to let this brew for five to seven minutes um, but right off the bat this smells nothing like coffee um, I'm really curious as to how they can uh, they can call this a coffee substitute uh, and that being a caffeine free coffee substitute when there's something like decaf that exists. If this actually tastes like coffee, I'll be very surprised. Um, and see, yeah, it, just, it smells like fig water. <laughs> um, and the, all of the seeds of the figs have now roast or have now risen to the top. Um, so that's now what's kind of floating up top there. All right, so it's been about five to seven minutes, uh, which is recommended by the package. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour out this coffee fig uh, into, a, into a filter, and we're gonna give this a little bit of a try. Um, you know, obviously this is, the color is quite reminiscent of coffee, um, but I'm, I would be, I think it would be bold in assuming that this is going to taste anything like actual coffee. Um, the color is more of kind of like a deep red than a brown. Um, just looking at it in this cup and I'm, I'm just, you know, not all too excited to, to try this, uh, to try this fake coffee, but for the, for the sake of science, uh, bottoms up. Oh, oh, that is, that is just not anything like coffee. That is, <laughs> it's, uh, the, the office is watching behind the camera. Uh, this is, uh, it's got a weird, uh, it's got like a, an off sweetness to it, um, you know, which is, the sweetness is somewhat pleasant, but the flavor is just like, 
there's kind of like this like almost like like moldy mildewy um like almost like a sock kind of you know like that sock that sat out and it's been wet for a long time like right when you go to drink it which is very very off-putting like right on the nose um and then the taste, I mean, you know, if you're, if you're like obsessed with figs, if you're a big like fig guy, this might be something that you like. Um, but this is absolutely not something that I enjoy and it is not anywhere near uh, co the coffee. You know, I can see that it's roasted and it's dark, um, but it just tastes like, it tastes like figs, uh, which I mean, if you like drinking figs in the morning, uh, this is definitely for you, uh, but this is absolutely not for me. Uh, and I would personally not recommend this as your coffee substitute. I would stick with some decaf. Uh, I can already feel it upsetting my stomach a little bit. And uh, the, even the thought of the mildewy aroma uh, in, at, from this distance even is starting to put me off and make me uh, a little nauseous, if I'm being honest. Um, so that being said, cough fig. Uh, you know, uh, I, li I like the effort. I like the packaging. Uh, but unfortunately... Uh, in this being a coffee substitute, I would not recommend it. Um, yeah, uh, I, I did not want to try this, and I did not like it, and uh, that's how it went. So yeah, coffee, no go in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Luke from Coffee House, and feel free to like, subscribe, and join our private Facebook group, which is, um, which is a group where we're sharing opinions, questions, concerns about the coffee industry in terms of equipment, brewing, roasting, all that good stuff. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, it's terrible.